<laughs> All right. Hi, guys. How's it going? We're going to do a quick radiance flow. This is our theme inside the Align Life Studio this month. And I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So we're going to start with using some body elixir. And we're going to just use a few pumps. You can use any kind of oil that you love. Make sure it's something that's pure and potent and organic if possible. So we're going to use it. The scent is really beautiful. So it's sandalwood, which is very grounding. It has grapefruit, which gives it a nice citrus and also honeysuckle. So take a deep breath. And just feel that beautiful scent coming into your body. This is going to help you tune into your senses. So bringing you into the present moment, bring you into the experience of feeling and getting more connected to your feeling and then trying to really think that you can alchemize those feelings inside of you. Emotional alchemy is so incredible. This is going to be the wave of the future. Now, if you have a little extra oil, just rub it on. I'm going to put a little bit into my hair. Sometimes when you have dirty hair, it's great to throw some of that oil in, bringing the radiance to all parts of us. And now we're going to just do a little opening of the lymph nodes right here. This is right above the collarbone. So we're going to open up the lymph nodes to help flush the toxins and to improve the radiance on the face. Okay, beautiful. And you can do a little flushing here around the neck. This helps stimulate the vagus nerve <sighs> and just brings you into the moment and helps you just get more connected to that sense of touch. So really touching your body, flushing it down. And then let's do a little work around the ears. You guys know how much I love the ears. So this is going to, again, drop you into more of the calmer state. Rest, digest, and heal. Breathe. <sighs> Doing that beautiful deep sigh. And now just rubbing around behind the ear. There's so many beautiful points around the ears to help you relax and melt away the worries and the frowning and all of that. So breathing, and you're really wanting to get kind of right behind the ear here. Take your thumbs and then open your mouth, clearing the congestion around the jaw, and then go right at the above the ear right here. This is the temporalis. So this is connected to the jaw. So if you bite down, you'll feel that muscle flex. Feel that muscle flex and now press into it and do little circles. You can use your fingers or your thumbs, whatever your, whatever feels better. And now bite down and I want you to open. So bite and then open. And then as you open, do little circles. Let's do that again. So you can kind of, you can do circles or you can do traction. So pull up as you open your mouth. And then when you get up there, do little circles. So really when you think about it, I mean, radiance to me is magnetic. It's more about an energy than it is about just a glowing, like skin deep glow. It's really this radiance that's oozing out of you like liquid light. And what dims that light is this rigidity and this armor that we build up. And it's sort of like making us be in these patterns of con contraction and compression. So as we start to expand and open ourselves up more, we allow that flow of life force energy to radiate through us more and we can become more magnetic. So let's pull those ears again and open your mouth. <sighs> Deepen your breath. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm sitting on a roller. You can sit on a pillow. If you only have, if you don't have a roller, you can use a towel rolled up. And we're just gonna get the lungs to open up because as you guys know, I talk about this a lot. When we, if our lungs are in our diaphragm are compressed, we're not gonna be able to take in the proper amount of oxygen to oxygenate our blood and also to nourish our cells. 
and we aren't able to flush out the old toxic emotional energy and CO2. So let's get the lungs opened up here. Okay, so inhale, reaching the arms up, double inhale. And then exhale with a deep sigh, side to side. And then bring the arms down again. And again, inhale, rock side to side. <sighs> arms down. And then this time, reaching the arms up again. Now we're going to do some twists. So you're going to move your rib cage around to unwind the boundedness, the knots, and the, the buildup congestion that might, that rigidity, that kind of inner armor around the ribs and the diaphragm and the core. So this is actually gonna help massage your organs, wring out those organs like a wet towel, and then help boost your radiance from the inside out and then reverse, move those hips. And you can let the head go as well, unwinding any of the buildup through the neck as well. Last one, beautiful. And then opening the arms and then let's interclass the fingers behind you as you open your collarbone and we're just going to rock a little side to side and now look up you're going to open up that thyroid gland and feel like you're opening up the throat area maybe releasing any swallowed emotions any blockages right through here because all of that blockage or any of those blockages are going to prevent the radiance, the, the magnetic energy that's trying to ooze out of you. Okay, and then tilt the head a little side to side. <sighs> Let that head just rock so you might get some little adjustments in the neck. Beautiful. Couple shoulder rolls. Now I'm doing this in jeans to show you guys that you can do this anytime in anywhere, in any outfit, <laughs> maybe not a skirt, three, two, and one. And then let's do a little neck release as well. So kind of take your fingers and you're going to hook them around the base of your skull here. And we're just going to do a little traction and up. And traction and down and then bring your elbows together and let's do a little circle elbows together tractioning through here opening up the spiritual gateway here where the neck muscles attach to the head traction feel that opening up the QLs as well. And then roll it up. Okay, so now if you're sitting on a pillow or a rolled up towel or a roller, we're going to turn the roller the other way so that you can use it to do a little mini inversion. Okay, so make sure have enough room on the sides of you and then you can just put the roller or the towel in front of you and lower yourself all the way down awesome okay so hopefully you can see me so now you're gonna put your hips on the roller you want to have your shoulder blades melting a little bit down into the mat and you want to have the plate of your sacrum your lower back on the roller so this is an inversion so this is going to help you feel or it's going to actually help you decompress the joints of your spine it also helps you to reposition the organs and it also helps with lymphatic flow and some dermatologists even believe it helps stimulate collagen to the face so being upside down can really help boost radiance from the inside out. Now we're just gonna rock the knees side to side first. 
And this is going to massage and clear away any of the residue or buildup in the hip area, helping to align the sacrum and the pelvis, freeing up any density, and then feeling that space, letting gravity put you back into alignment. Now bring one knee up and then the other knee up. And then we're going to rock a little side to side. So we're doing an inversion and now we're adding a twist, which is a great way to get that radiance to be oozing out of you more. So ring out the toxicity, ring out the emotional energy and allow that new, new vibrational energy or elevated frequency energy pulse through you more. So think about things that you might want to let go of here. Anything that might be holding you back or you might be holding in your body. And then bringing the legs up. And we'll do one leg down. Inhale. And other leg down. Exhale. So opening up the hip a little bit here. Make sure you're activated through your core. Make sure your ribs don't pop. And then feel the little massage happening in the upper or middle back as well. Tucking the chin, you can move your head a little side to side. Some ankle rolls. Take your legs as wide as you can, opening up the inner thighs and the groin. And give yourself a little massage there in the inner thighs. If it's slid out a little, just put it back in there. And let's bend one knee. Massage that inner thigh, groin area. We hold a lot of emotional energy, that kind of bearing down, clutching in the inner thighs and the hammies and then other side. Massaging through the inner thigh, little ankle roll, clearing the cobwebs. Beautiful, and then just rock a little side to side again. <sighs> Add that breath like an internal shower. Awesome, Woo. okay, bend the knees in, and then you can rock a little side to side as the roller starts to slip out. And then if you have the dome, this guy, the spiky dome, if you don't just use the towel as well, fold it up and we're gonna put it under, right there at that spiritual gateway. Okay, right at the occipital bones where the neck attaches to the head. This thing feels amazing. So if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend ordering one or trying to find one at a local store near you. And just turn your head to the right and over to the left. And feel the circulation and blood flow and lymph flow happening in the back of the head. And this actually opens up the third eye so it helps awaken your intuition and also brings that blood circulation and oxygenation to the head to help you feel more awake and more alive. And then tuck the chin. You can let your ribs pop a little bit because that'll help give the traction right there in the neck and then a little bit of side to side. And then inhale, chin up, ribs down, exhale, <sighs> ribs up, chin down, and then rock. A little side to side and then you can also do the jaw here as well the jaw attachment the one we did with your thumb so you just go bite down you'll feel it and then open and then rock side to side so you can do that on both sides as well Woo! so there you go by doing all of these things getting your body upside down Putting, applying the pressure and the tension either through your hand or through a roller or through the domes or balls, whatever you're using, or even just by applying pressure when you're laying down on the ground with your hips on the roller, that pressure is going to stimulate, remember, the stem cell reservoirs, which is going to help bring that oozing, that radiance. So it's going to give you a beautiful beauty boost, but it's also going to give you a vitality radiance boost of that kind of electromagnetic energy. So it's a very powerful and potent way to look after yourself. One more thing I want to do before we go today. Well, first of all, if you're not in the studio, remember, head on over to the Align Life Studio, where I share many, many, many hundreds of different types of flows and practices. 
And all of the things that I have tried and um, obviously believe in goes in the studio and I'm there, it's there to share with you guys as a body of work. But one more thing I wanted to add is so much of this radiance, like we said before, is an electromagnetic energy. So if we really start to, if we want to start living with more radiance in our lives and more vitality and more energy and age with joy and grace, then we really have to get out of our head only. And we need to start getting out of our, just our thoughts and our mind. And we need to get more into the visceral part of our body and our feelings. So remember the thoughts are electric. The feelings are magnetic. And when both of those are actually in coherence or in alignment with each other, that's what we start to manifest. So much of what we've been living or how we've been living in the last however many years has been so much about the mind, about thoughts, about doing, about force. But now we're starting to realize that the power is really coming from our feelings, from the flow, from allowing, surrendering, from being instead of just doing. And that's what coming into your body is about and tuning into your feelings. So if you want to really manifest, you want to define what you manifest in your life more, got to get more in touch with our feelings because feelings are the secret. Feelings are the direct line in from the conscious mind to the subconscious. So the mind is the conscious mind. The feelings, the body, are the subconscious. So when we start to realize that we move, if we move this energy out of us, this heaviness, this thickness, these um, old belief patterns and memories that are holding us back, we then, if we can let go of those, we can actually practice emotional alchemy. I truly believe this. So let's do this today. I want you to tune in, get comfortable. You can either lay down or sit on a roller or your pillow, whatever you have, the rolled up towel, and take a moment here and sit up nice and tall. Take a big breath. <sighs> Let it all go. And just tune in. You can do hand on heart, hand on belly. Take a moment to be present with yourself right now and think of maybe one thing that you would like to release today. So it's really a lot easier to release it in the mind, but let's also release it from the body. And because the body is the it has so much physical density, it's the last part of us human beings to transform and alchemize. So think of one thing that you would like to release. It could be a sense of anger, frustration, resentment, judgment, envy. Think of that emotional energy, honor it, say thank you to it, integrate the experience of it, shed light on it, and then release it through a breath. So inhale. <sighs> or through a wiggle, or a laugh, or a hum, or a stretch, or a bounce, or some dancing, whatever it is, just take a moment to feel that release. And then visualize and think of what, or feel, I should say, what you want to infuse into that new space. Now that you've cleared the space, creating the space to embody grace. What do you want to fill it with? I will offer to you today with our theme, I embody radiance. I embody radiance. Say that to yourself a few times and just feel yourself being nourished by that energy of vitality I embody radiance. 
and bring that with you. You can say that to yourself right when you wake up in the morning and right as you're falling asleep at night. And feel that energy of radiance, the vibration of the word and the meaning of radiance. Feel it pulsing through your body, your joints, your bones, your muscles, your organs, your spinal cord. Of course, in your fascia and your blood, in your skin and your brain. Feel it oozing from the inside out like liquid light shining bright. Because when you shine bright, you help the world be better by being you. So embrace that energy, feel it pulse through you. It goes beyond your physical body and into your biofield around you. And by you creating the shift from the inside out, you create a ripple effect on the planet. When you are the change, that's what creates the change. So we try to be the energy we want to attract. We try to be the energy we want to see in the world. Breathe that in, big inhale. <sighs> Exhale. And let's just open your eyes and do a little bit of swaying here. It's really imprinting that message into your cellular vibration. Remember, we are not just physical meat suits. We are electric beings. We are energetic beings. And we have energy pulsing energy and sound and light and frequency and vibration pulsing through us all the time. Remember that saying, your energy introduces you before you even walk into the room. And our energy speaks before even our words. So think of that as you take this, hopefully this beautiful little warm, cozy hug from today. And really just think of embodying that and feel into that. And remember that your feelings are the secret. And remember that you are electromagnetic. And you have so much more power than we've been told in our lives. So thank you so much, you guys. And be sure to check out the Align Life Studio if you haven't already. And if you're new here, you can also go to the seven day body upgrade, which is my free product that's available to anyone with no strings attached. Attached. So I will see you soon. Thanks so much for playing with me. Ciao.